Good morning. Today is project day. I've got some projects that I need to finish. I've just, <laughs> when I'm picking up from the, running from the fire the other day, I've just kind of thrown stuff in the truck, in the camper. Um, so right now I've kind of got a mess. But look at the beautiful forest. Isn't it beautiful? So I'm going to turn you around. So I'm going to turn you around and show you what I got going on. So what started this was, I've been noticing a leak. Um, there's some water. And so I thought, well, I better start tracking this down and see if I can't get this fixed. But what I think I have determined, pretty much, pulled out my drawer. I'm going to finish a project that started here in just a minute. But that's my garage. I don't know if y'all have ever seen that but it goes in this and there's a valve right there and i think it just got kind of turned on because none of this is wet and i got underneath and it's definitely coming from here so i think the valve valve either the valve's going out or it got turned a little bit which it can so i just need to start watching that <sighs> And I pulled everything out of my back seat. <laughs> Not everything. Just the stuff. Uh, shower tent. Got to fold that up. Put it up. Kind of just reorganizing some things here. Reorganizing here. I don't think I've ever done a video of showing you my back seat garage. <laughs> I should show, sh do that sometime. Well, I hauled too much. But there's my propane fire bowl fits in there really good i kept my seat um plan on keeping my seat in here i know i lose room but i don't want to leave this somewhere and it get filthy uh mice rats whatever it's better being in here than <sighs> lost my breath anyway we're seven thousand seventy five hundred feet something like that so what i'm gonna do and what i'm about to finish so I'm put this drawer back in is when you pull it out too far what was happening is it was buckling right here you can already see I've already fixed it this is one I did back in Pahrump and never finished so I'm gonna finish putting this side on and this keeps it from when you pull it out too far from it buckling in the middle which was really a pain so I just got me some of this iron, and it's not angle iron, but, and I'm just gonna drill holes in that, put a screw in it, and that will keep that from buckling. All right, got that done. So that should keep that from folding up on me. Now I just will put it back in there. So did y'all see that? It but buckled right here. So I think what I'm going to do, since that one is over there, I'm going to move this one up. Kind of offset it. So, let's re <laughs> redo this. There's my cast iron, my Dutch oven. It hadn't been out of that spot in months. <laughs> Fire bin, no charcoal, no fire, so can't wait to get that sucker out someday soon all right now i gotta fold up my shower curtain shower tent let's get that done and then i'll be almost finished
Okay, the next project is these cables on my battery. Batteries have been, are really brittle. See that green one back in the back? So I'm gonna replace these. I bought new cables, thicker ones also. And I'm gonna put those on right now. So they didn't have a red cable when I was, when I bought these, so I just I had some red tape. So these are the cables I'm gonna use. These have just got wing nuts on the back, so they're pretty easy. I need to get wing, wing nuts for wing nuts for all of them. That would be nice. Here's the ones I took off. That was just, it's not really the cable that's, let's get some corrosion, but the cable's not really cracked, it's just the plastic, but. Anyway, they have been replaced. <laughs> 